Kyrie. Yes, if you don't know me, get to know me. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Kyber Crew? What's up, Pentaholics? We are back. We are back. All right, people, we are here with the 13th episode, the 13th Pentatonic Sing Off Series 3. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, this is a different day, hence why I'm in a different t shirt, people. And we've only got three more reactions to do, so I haven't got much time on my hands. However, I'm very, very impressed. I, I've said it this whole time, I'm just literally blown away. And I said it from the jump in the beginning of number one reaction is they had it since day one. Kevin's had it, Avi's had it, um, Kirsty's had it, Mitch ha has had it, Scott has, he's got it. Bing got it, yeah? All of their talents, all of their uniqueness, who they are, they've had it since day one. And I felt, I feel like this Sing Off series has, well, yes, yeah, it has shaped them to be what they are today. Incredible. Listen, I'm so impressed, man. They're just outdoing it, outdoing it every single time. But let's get into this reaction, people. Don't want to talk so much before I keep on tripping up. <laughs> but you know what I've got to say? Subscribe, hit that notification button. I don't know where we are. I don't know where we are right now but i hope we are over 9500 because we need 10k by the end of this year two weeks left can you make my christmas dream come true i'm like god my mama i'm gonna keep on saying it <laughs> until we reach it people we actually we're doing really well like you've done you've helped me out so much like <clears throat> really well pentaholics so i'm just saying can you help me a little bit more push it because once we hit 10k there's new milestones to hit we got to keep on going. All right, but let's get into it. You know the three, you know the two, you know the one. Let's press play. This group brought fearless originality to our show, but when they were younger, they faced challenges for being different. So this week, the members of Pentatonix lent their voices to an organization working to help bullied youth. All right, we're back, people. Yo, something happened that shouldn't have happened, man. <laughs> All right, but let's get back into it. Our first group brought fearless originality to our show. But when they were younger, they faced challenges for being different. So this week, the members of Pentatonix lent their voices to an organization working to help bullied youth. We're here at the Trevor Project to lend our voice to stop being bullying and to prevent suicide among youth. Welcome Damn, Pentatonix. All right. It's so great to see you. The Trevor Project is Man. the leading national organization providing crisis intervention and suicide prevention for youth. Being okay. one of the youngest groups on the sing-off, we can relate to the bullied kids. So we're going to do a public service announcement and meet with kids who are feeling isolated. Yeah, sir. Hi, we are Pentatonix. No matter what you're going through, know that you're not alone. Visit thetrevorproject.org to learn more. It's amazing that there's Aww. a charity like The Trevor Project that reaches yeah. out to these kids who really need some adventure yeah. about anything. These are kids. These kids look like grown-ups. Yeah, this is what I'm telling you, man. America, you, you Americans, man, you're built different. You're just built. Like, the way you grow is different from the UK kids. Especially in this era, like I said in my previous reaction, you guys just, yeah. Damn, man, you grow differently. more. <laughs> it's amazing that there's a charity like the Trevor Project that reaches out to these kids who really need someone to vent to about anything. We have talked about ways to help somebody who is thinking about suicide. I want to ask if you have experienced being mistreated. I was always, like, a lot taller than all of my friends. A lot of the guys would often make jokes about how I looked, and my friends all laughed. I felt really isolated. I just didn't have anyone to turn to. It seems like everyone, you know, kind of feels powerless. I was made fun of a lot for, uh, for being Jewish, and oh, I just wow. feel like anyone that's made fun of shouldn't be for being different it's nice to see you know people such as pentatonics who are inspirational and they might have been in your shoes at one point and you're not alone the dog days are over the dog days are done i was teased in middle school because of my voice now i'm mm. a finalist on the sing-off so mm. things really do get better in big ways and you can't give up because someone tries to tear you down They've spread an important message, and now they'll inspire us with a song. Crazy. Performing Without You by David Guetta, featuring Usher, here is Pentatonix. All right, let's go, let's go. One, two, three, two. Three. Uh, this song, this song. Never win this game without you, without you. And 
interesting way to end it okay the only little downside i got of this <clears throat> i think this is not a good quality video because the way i'm hearing it is very very quiet so i try to put the volume up a little bit earlier as you saw um it's very quiet for some reason the other recordings have been fine and i've heard it perfectly but for some reason i don't know if it's to do with this or my headphones it's just really quiet and I'm really disappointed right now because I felt like that performance would have been outstanding and way better if it was a lot more clearer and it filled up the room. So I'm a bit upset because of my damn quality and my damn connection. Um, but interesting, man. Interesting. Like, I, I wish I could say more. I, just, I felt like my, my connection ruined it. <laughs> I felt like this would have been sick because I felt like Avi and Kevin came in again, man. But this the, the main thing that shined out for me was just the singing. I think Scott... Kirsty and Mitch singing was shared again and I felt like um it was very powerful within this song and I felt like Scott took a strong lead I'm gonna keep on saying it during this phase when he did the sing-off series everything was shared everything was like one person sings this part one person sings that part it didn't seem like Scott was the lead and I know I've mentioned it a few times already I just mean like I really see them as a group I really see Pentatonic as a group I'm so kind of like disappointed a little bit as they grew it led more into scott singing more of the lead i'm a little bit disappointed about that um <clears throat> like he took over more of the songs uh, for an example pentatonics rise only scott singing like if you really just listened to that on its own you would have never thought that's a group you know what i mean so um i like how in the sing of series it's shared a lot more and each individual is used more powerfully well more importantly I know I've said it before, I know I've said it before. But the quality's ruined it. The quality's ruined it, man. <laughs> Benetonics with another stellar performance. Great job, guys. Yeah, I bet that was better in person. I bet hearing that was better in person. <laughs> Judges, what makes Pentatonics one of the top three vocal groups in America? Sarah? True. Ugh, you guys are making me cry already. This is going to be a long night. There is just, there's one word that describes you guys, and it's daredevils. You guys take big risks, and it always pays off big mm. time. I mean, you take these songs apart, you put them back together, and it always delivers. Mm. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Hey, let's go. Sure, and sweet. Ben? Avi and Kevin, you're a sick bass drum combo. <laughs> Butt shaking bass. And the whole group delivers surprises. Like every 8 16 bars, it's like you don't know what's coming next. You mm. guys always pull a surprise. And in the middle of that stuff, your delivery is focused and heartfelt. You still feel the song. So you guys are amazing. Other than that, you're awful. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, Sean. The cool thing about you guys is that it's just, you know, not just one soloist, but it's three. So I'm going to talk about you guys in a minute. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Kirsty, you always had this sweet yet sassy style that adds to those vocals like you're amazing. Mitch, I don't care what those people that used to tease you, now they're sitting there watching you on a sing off. So, ah. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Your voice is gorgeous. It's a beautiful voice. And Scott, you're just ridiculous. <laughs> So, I mean, basically, I mean, you guys are amazing, and Pentatonix, from the beginning, you guys blew me away, from the gate, and you continue to do it. Amazing. All right, thanks, judges. And Pentatonix will be back later to join me in turning up the heat to, well, I don't know, 98 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. Great job. I don't understand that joke, because I don't know the show. I don't understand that joke. Um, but, yeah, man, if someone like Mitch got picked on, Think about it. Someone like Mitch got picked on because of his voice when he was younger. Um, <clears throat> look where he is now. Look where he is now. And on top of that, when he was in a sing-off series, you got the main man, Sean. Is it Stockholm? From boys to men saying, I rate you. Bro, there's nothing better than that. I don't care what you say about me. I got boys to men backing me up, bro. You know what I mean? So it's crazy. Crazy. Um, I'm hoping the next video does it justice with the quality because the quality has been fine so far. For some reason, I don't feel like the quality here did the song justice. It's not them. It's my connection. Uh, but yeah, um, it was all right. It was all right. I liked what I heard. It was all right. But the leads of Scott, Mitch and Kirsty is what really shined in this song. I felt like they took over the most of it, like majority of it. And that it was where they needed to be what it was their time to shine, basically. Kevin and Avi's had enough compliments. It was their time to shine. Um, but that's my reaction over people. Do a comment below, um, and I will, we'll get on to the next one. We've got two more. We've got the last one. I didn't even know there was a final one. I did not know. So we've got 14 and then the finale. All right, so let's get it. <laughs> 